going to try to do this one-handed. It's probably the third or fourth video I have made, but lots of new subscribers, and there's nothing wrong with a refresher. Here we have the now outdated MSD 6010. This is a Generation 3 engine, so you need a Generation 3 box. 6010. If you have a 58 tooth reluctor wheel, mid 2005, 2006, up, definitely 2007 and up, uh, LSV8, you're going to need the 6012. Or you can just get the 6014, the brand new one, which does it all, and it's an updated unit. Um, wire in the MSD controller is cake. Here's all they give you. That's it. Plop. Oh, so let's get to it. I'll look that bad boy up last. You have only a handful of plugs here. I'm trying to remember how I like to do this. Let's start with... I got them taped up. There's a nice little plug here. Pink is power, 12 volt key. Fused preferably. Gray and black are your grounds. Yellow is your tack. Covered with the high temperature shrink. Look at that. Pro heat guard. That's your crank sensor. Your crank sensor on these engines. Right here. That's going to be kind of a tight fit. Right by the starter. Snap. There's your crank sensor. If you have a black sensor, you have an early Gen 3 motor through 2005-2006. If it's a gray sensor, it is a Gen 4 motor. Let's move that power out of the way. Next up we have, oh I still have it attached to it, map sensor. Two bar, three bar map sensor. This goes to full vacuum, whether you go full vacuum into the back of the carburetor or to the port on the side of the intake. As long as she gets full vacuum. And they even cleverly labeled it map. This little bad boy, brown, pink, and it looks like brown, stripe, white. Cam sensor. Gen 3 engines have the cam sensor in the back. Gen 4 are on the timing cover right about here. So that's Gen 3. What else we got here? Let's discuss the map. Uh, yeah. Coils. And again, they label them nicely. Here's your bank 2468. Snap. And 1357. Snap. Now the carburetor isn't mounted, it's just kind of sitting here. Gotta get a gasket. Oh. You can clean it up as much as you want. I'm just throwing it on here for display purposes. Presentation purposes, so to speak. And then you get the main harness itself. Your MSD plugs into the controller. It also comes with a secondary harness. This is for a two-stage rev limiter. I've never used it. This box I bought used with the wonderful water lock and instructions. Pills and mounting hardware. Nice. It's for your two-stage rev limiter. And there's where you plug her in. The early boxes use a DIN 9 uh, port. You have to use an older computer, an older laptop. I use a Dell from like 1999. It's slow as shit, but for what I'm doing, it works so you can custom tune it. Take these chips and these pills, throw them out. I'm going to show you guys in a future video how to 
set a timing curve. You know, for basic street or whatever. I mean, you got rev limiter, nitrous controller. It's pretty wild stuff for what it is. I mean, for the $350 box, I paid 200 for this one. So they give you enough cable to route it wherever you want. You want to put it inside the vehicle, that's cool. If you want to mount it on the fender, that's fine. Edelbrock puts a nice little provision on the intake so you can put it right on the intake. That's why I left it on the S10, but I think this one's going to go on the fender well. So it's easy. It's, it's, it's easy. Really easy, guys. Your main plug, bank one, 1357, 2468, and they're marking it. They mark it. You can do this without directions. Your map sensor, which gets full vacuum, back of the carb, side of the intake, your camshaft position sensor, and finally, the most important probably is your crank position sensor. It's easy guys, easy peasy. I'm gonna be running this bad boy here soon, so stay tuned. Alrighty, you guys have a nice Thanksgiving.